So it's really pretty outside. It's fall is my favorite time of year. Good time for riding. You're not sweating your ass off. So I got this thing running yesterday and I thought it ran like shit. Um, it wouldn't go above like 2000 RPMs. And I'm quite positive it's because it's running too lean because the, you know, I don't know how the fucking air filters on it. And the damn bra keeps coming off down here and it pisses me off, but uh, just tell whoever wants it, they're going to take it off. But this thing has a really interesting setup for the, uh, <coughs> the air filters. There's two of them. One for each side. And it's these janky ass old rusty I have no idea what the hell that means and the way it works is you buckle it on there there's a bolt hole there and there is a bolt that goes through there and the other bolt goes right to there so this little port connects into there and the air I think that's what this re this phone over here is for is actually sucking <clears throat> I would believe that is kind of like grabbing it from behind the side cover like somewhere back here so it's like safe supposedly let me put this on so if this is going in here like this, yep, it's the side cover actually serves a pretty good purpose because it would be sucking shit right into the filter. But uh, yeah, there's like a really long bolt that goes through here and holds it in. It's really not that bad. I mean, this is easier to take out than an air box, which has like the battery on one side and the box on the other, and the filter comes up over the seat. This seems pretty damn convenient. Uh, and, you know, the only thing is I'm using 50-year-old filters. But I think they work better than no filters at all. So I'm going to get this going, and uh, we'll see if she runs. Airbox made all the difference and now it's practically perfect. It doesn't like, you know, idling nicely until it warms up. But it goes right back down to a nice idle. Fucking screams like a banshee when I'm rolling down the road. I mean, I got up to 50, like, no problem. So I'm gonna pop on the old side covers and send it. Get some new plugs. Because the one was fouled and I just kind of fixed it. Maybe that's why it barks at me a little bit. Ugh. I don't remember if I deleted the other videos on here, but I'll find out later. So, I got the thing running pretty good. Or, or a new gasket, because I don't like that one leaking. It's just, it's like you rub it and it just kind of leans, because the, the bowl leans that way. So, I'm getting a new gasket for the other side. But, I drained out the oil again because I got, well, that's my problem, which is basically, and, it, and sometimes I start it and it just goes shoop, all the way to the fucking floor. I could take it this way and just keep turning it, but I can kick it, but it won't return. So it makes me think that the, I know that the ratcheting parts work, there's the there's the ring that has the the stay on it that pushes the ratcheting gear on. That's working because the ratchet will will grab. That's how you can go like this and it'll grab it more. Um, but the fact that it won't spring back up makes me think that the spring is broke. And hopefully I don't have like a chunk of spring hanging out at the bottom. I mean I'll find that out one of these days or whatever. It won't matter. It'll either get sucked up into the pump and it won't matter or whatever. So I got to take off the exhaust. The foot peg. You have to take off the foot peg because you can't get this off. Then I gotta take the kick off. Then I gotta do this shit. I have another gasket. So, hose already drained. And I gotta take it apart again. 
And I think I just about bought another bike, so I'm gonna move on soon. <laughs> All right, got my pipe, kickstand, kicker off. I left this hanging here because it's a bitch to wind it back up. And I'm gonna go at with uh, just a little, whoa, little attachment doohickey here. Sounds great. That one I'll just do it some other way. I remember that one I almost couldn't get out before. Don't drop anything in the oil. Notice I have my oil pan down there? Yeah. That's pretty important. So, let's come to this. One of the worst possible things I could have imagined. Spring is perfectly fine, but this little doodad, which is designed to catch right there. I don't know why they didn't just make it a little bit longer and make that right there. I don't know how they could have made that any fucking stronger. But, as you can see, I have the nub. This little thing right here. It's kind of funny, it looked like it slowly dug into it. Like that right there is totally a notch where it had been like wearing into it. Like how the fuck does it do that? Not This isn't moving this way, it just like sheared right through it and then took it the rest of the way off. I don't fucking understand it. Like that's kind of unbelievable, but there's a lot of shit underneath there, and kind of wonder, like, if I did that, is that even worth it? I'm going to watch a video, and I'm going to see how thick the, that part of the case is right there, and I think it's pretty thick. I think it's, like, at least, like, a half an inch thick, or three quarters of an inch thick, which is what this is. Oops, there it goes. Ugh. So there's only so much carefulness I can have with what I'm doing here. And I got out the rotary tool with the iridium bit. Any old bit probably would have cut aluminum. But I've started myself a nice little divot right there. Rather than using the punch, I'll probably punch it also, but to start the spot right there. And it, that's a fairly flat spot and it sticks out quite a bit, so I, th I feel like I'm lucky. I'm going to drill there. We're going to see how far in I can go. So I found a 6 1.0 that... Uh, tested it with my tap and die and that one screws in there good and it's either going to be this one or this one I think both of them would be high enough maybe I would need to put something on it but this right here is I mean I could find one that was shorter here if this one won't work but I'm going to see if I can get that one in there and so I just got to find the right six that's a five this one looks like my six so apparently you can get about maybe half an inch and then when you get in there it'll go whoop, right fucking through. That is the end of the case. I thought it was way thicker than that. Maybe it's thicker over there, but right where this thing right here, I don't want to get it too close, right where that there is going to hit is like right there. So I had to get it right on the fucking edge. So I'm doing a change of plans because my six mil bit, the one that was slightly smaller, wouldn't work wouldn't fucking drill for shit, it was shot. So I had a four mil, one that was slightly smaller, and I got a four mil tap, and we're gonna try to do that. So I got a pretty good looking four mil, I mean, at least it's Phillips, it's not fucking flathead. Uh, that's a steel bit, so, or a steel screw. Um, better than nothing, we'll see what, if it works. I just wanted to show how incredible this is. I twisted in with a pair of vice grips, and I think it's in there all the way. Oh, that's, that's a little stiffer than I thought. I thought I could fucking pull it out without the vice grips. All right. Uh, so then trying to tap friggin' steel. And I knew the last guy. Oh, yeah. Uh, he, the dude in the forum, he's like, yeah, it happened to me too. And he's like, yeah, he split the case and did it. Um, cool, it's coming out with my hand now. 
And I'm like, now I know why he split the case to do it, because he could probably get the bit in there, like, straight and all this shit. And I ain't got fucking room for that. I'm taking this fucking thing apart again. Shit. And, yep, suck that shit out of there. Looks a little bit cleaner. This is never going to be perfect again. I, I'm going to have some metal bits in the bottom of my fucking oil for sure. I know it. Concrete? She said concrete. So, <laughs> I went a little crazy. And I knew how far deep it went in. And I didn't necessarily want it to bottom out on anything in there. But I smothered it with friggin' more Loctite and I stuck some washers on there to try to make sure it was beefy enough to grab shit. And I think that, just like that, and just like this, that's hitting some hard shit right there. Do that, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do here. It's supposed to like be in there. Goes on there that way because that latches onto that. All right, so that's, that's my problem. I'll figure out how to do that and we'll see if I get it. Success. That is in there at least the length that it's in there. Well, whatever. There's plenty of room for the chain or for the for the spring. I got the spring on it. I just had to fucking vice clamp that shit and like pull it away from the frame until I got it up to here and then like hold it with Oh, where the hell are my players? I had to hold it with the players just because I thought it was just going to go um, I'm not going to dick with anything else. I am not even going to move it. Um, I'm positive that it will work because the thing goes that way. You just need to pull it back. So this spring I know is powerful enough and it probably stops it a little bit earlier than it used to. I mean, it's only off by maybe three millimeters, which is fine because you, know, you set where you want the, the handle to stop. So I'm good to go. Uh, just try to grab last few little bits of aluminum that I can see kicking around here and man I forgot to mention how much of a bitch it was to get this fucking side cover off oh my god I had to f I was fighting with it for like at least an hour so while I'm in here you know just scrub a little bit uh yeah I already have a gasket I'm gonna put a new gasket on it clean this bastard off and we'll button it up and uh shit i'm not even going to use the fucking kickstarter but it's just for an emergency i'm gonna be like dude you can kick it if you want to if you want to be fucking cool but whenever that thing smacks back up in there it could just snap that fucking screw off i don't think i'm going to tell them that it's a screw i just be like i had to fix it yeah i'm not a salesman I'd be like i had to fuck with it i fixed it <laughs> Whatever, and you know, it doesn't matter, because even if it does, does fucking snap or break off, I, I'm pretty sure the ca the rest of the case will probably be fine. And the Kickstarter still worked, it just fucking kept going, and it just like, yeah, it did that. And it bashed like a nub right into the side of the fucking, before you know it, I have a hole there and I have to JB weld the bastard. Um, so, alright, I'm done swearing, I'm just gonna walk away. And you know, grab a little goops of oil. I gotta go, gotta go to the grocery store. And my sweetie's like, let's go get some fucking groceries at the Asian market. Check out all the little, little cuties there. Uh, yeah. Okay, um, I'm done for now. Uh, I'll button this up when I get back here tonight. And I think we'll get another bike. I don't know how I'm gonna do it.